What's up YouTube? So today is oil change day for the TU250X. There it is, be the first oil change for a while. Uh, got my pan, oil, tool, 17 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, and I have the manual. Uh, the manual's not the best, but it'll do. Um, so I haven't warmed it up yet, but I just want to go through the pages of the manual. So we move the filler cap, move the filter, reinstall filter, clean strainer. I am not going to be cleaning the strainer. This bike doesn't have that many miles on it. Uh, I am going to be pointing out, I got you. Before we start, I want to show you the actual oil drain versus the other part the got you hopefully you can see all right so this is the actual oil drain plug right here a common mistake is that there's another bolt There's another bolt here, which is often removed, thinking it's the drain. That is not your drain. Your drain is this plug right here as part of this round assembly. So, just so we can see, your, this is your drain plug. That's important that you pull this and not this bolt back here. They look very similar. All right, so with that said, your filter is here. I will be walking through that, but for now, that's just the big key points where everything's located. All right, so I'm gonna let the bike warm up first to uh, let the oil get warm before I drain it. All right, so per the manual, they say remove the oil fill. Uh, for now, I'm just going to crack it where it can let air in. I don't wanna remove it just because something may fall. It's doubtful, but something may. Next, I'm going to pull the drain plug, which is requires 17 millimeter socket. All right, so one thing I am trying to get in the habit of doing is gloves. Using gloves when I work with any kind of chemical. Um, for a long time, I didn't do it, but I'm trying to develop that habit. All right, so like I said, this is your drain, oil drain right here. Make sure you get the one on this little flange, this round flange. Also keep in mind since the, since the uh, engine's been running that the pipe is still a little warm. All right, so next, uh, another thing I didn't add, just, just make sure you have a rag um, clean up. I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the drain back in the hole. I do not expect to for the filter. I don't think it's important. I will not be tightening it yet. Next, I'm going to be take the filter off or out. This 10 millimeter socket.
All right, there's an O-ring inside the gasket or the cover. Make sure you don't lose that and make sure that it is actually stays. And also we see a spring here as well. And the spring's what holds the filter up against it. So make sure that stays there as well. groove old oil filter and there is a o-ring and heat installed in here that does need to go back all right so i'm going to actually dry this out as you can see there's very little oil left but i'm going to go ahead and clean this out real good with a rag just to clean it. Remember, O-ring. All right, so here is the replacement mall oil filter for this bike. I am gonna install it in, making sure the O-ring stays in place and that it fits. And what I'm doing is I'm also making sure that that stays in place. And I, with the little indention on the back of the filter, you could actually feel the filter like it's sitting there correctly on the O-ring. Next up is to reinstall this correctly, the cover. And like I said, make sure that the spring stays intact. I'm going to hand tight these with it as best I can, keeping pressure on that spring where it does not slide on, where the cover doesn't come loose in the oil filter and the O-ring. Get misplaced or don't line up. All right, so I'm hand tighten that. I use a quarter inch drive to make sure I don't over tighten these small screws. The manual does not give a torque spec for these and I don't have the maintenance manual so there may actually be one but the owner's manual does not give torque specs. But cover reinstalled, gaskets in place, spring in place. Next up I'm just going to tighten up the bolt on the drain bolt on the bottom and after that I'm going to add fit oil. All right, so drain bolt reinstalled, cover reinstalled. For the oil filter, the new oil filter in, pretty easy procedure. I'm gonna wipe everything down, and then I'm gonna put new oil in. It takes 1.6 quarts. I'm gonna go ahead and pour one in, because I know it's not gonna take more than one. Another thing to keep in mind is after putting your oil, since the filter was empty or dry, is that after you put the oil in, Make sure you check the reference in the sight glass. Another thing is, a lot of these, I know this is common knowledge, but a lot of these jugs come with levels in it. So you can kind of get an idea of what a quart and a half is before you even start. It's like 1.6 it says, so I'm going to fill it to about right here. 
It's left, and we'll check it. All right, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video now. From here, it's just fine-tuning the oil level.